to learn how to groom a pug. These are the tools that I use to keep my pugs clean. Ferguson is getting groomed today. First, we begin by brushing Fergie's fur with the rounded bristles to lift up all the loose hair and any dead skin. Then, when Fergie's hair has all been lifted and it's going against the grain, we use the smooth side of the brush, the curry side, to make his fur sleek and glossy. We're using our ear solution on the cotton pad to clean Ferguson's ears. Take the cotton round and put it inside Fergie's ear. Use your finger in a sweeping circular motion to dislodge any dirt and debris that may have gotten there during the week, especially sitting outside in the summer sun. Ear cleaning and drying solution helps keep Ferguson's ears free of wax and any moisture accumulation. Simply hold his ear open, take the drops, put a couple drops into the ear canal, put your hand over the ear and gently massage. Using the fine teeth of the comb, gently insert the comb into the folds of the pug and brush upwards in a sweeping motion on both sides of the rope or the nasal fold of the pug. This loosens any debris that might accumulate there. Now a little water on the cotton pad is put into the nasal fold into the rope to remove any of the debris that you have loosened with your combing. Just a gentle scrubbing action under the eye area and under the rope, but above the snout and the nose, helps keep Ferguson's folds clean and healthy. Now, the finishing touch for the snout is just a little antibacterial cream placed deep inside the fold to keep that area fresh and healthy. We are continuing Ferguson's grooming with a cotton pad moistened with a little bit of water. The pad is applied to Ferguson's eye, always from the inner to the outer, sweeping in an outward motion gently to remove any debris that might have accumulated there, any hair, any stray food, anything from the atmosphere. The pug's eyes stick out on their heads and they're often a good collector for things that are quite unwanted there. We're now going to apply a little bit of Clinique to his nose, which gets quite dry from all of the activity that he does during the day. And once you rub it into this pug's nose, his nose will turn a lovely shade of blue. And it's all right if the cream goes all over. It is good coverage for his nose for being outside as it has an SPF of 15. Now that Ferguson has been made clean and comfortable, we're going to put a finishing touch on him that is a bonus for himself, for his teeth, and for us, for his breath. Plaque spray is simply sprayed inside the mouth and the action of the tongue moving the spray around the teeth will help minimize plaque. Brushing pug teeth is essential to keep their mouths healthy. Ferguson is not such a fan of the plaque spray, not as much a fan as we are. Good boy. But once he gets it, it's delicious. And that is how to groom your pie.